I'm testing iOS 18. Maybe she can still tell us jokes. Okay, that one's actually funny. We do not need to be scared of AI because look at the mistakes that were in this video. Golden Retriever. Hopefully it can get pictures of my dog. Hi you guys, it's Jeffrey and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to look at Apple Intelligence, which just recently came out. I recently upgraded to the iPhone 16 Pro Max and some of the new Apple Intelligence features just dropped on Monday. So I updated my phone and I want to check them out with you. The first thing that you have to do is download the new update. So you just go into your settings like normal, general, software updates, and then iOS 18.1. On my phone, it took 1.8 gigabytes. Once I did this update, I thought I was done, but no. So you have to go back to your settings, scroll down, and then hit Apple Intelligence and Siri. Join the Apple Intelligence waitlist. You'll click join and then you just wait until a notification appears on your phone that says you're able to use the Apple intelligence features and then you can go for it. I think it took like 40 minutes around for me until I got the notification that it was ready but hopefully the more people that do it like the faster it will be available. It was super weird when I first updated my phone to iOS 18.1 I was looking for the new features and I'm like nothing is different like what is going on. The main reason I was looking forward to this update is because look at Siri when you talk to Siri, the whole sides of the screen are glowing, which I think is so cool. Just look at that, look at that, look at that. You just hold down and like the phone does a little vibration. It's so cool. Siri is the first thing that I want to look at and obviously show you guys. With Siri, you can just keep talking to her, which is super nice because before you had to keep saying like, Siri, blah, 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 Siri, blah, blah, blah. But you can just keep having a conversation with her and asking her different things and she can keep responding. Let's the weather today. What about tomorrow? The other thing you can do is do type to Siri. So you just double tap at the bottom of your screen and then this will pop up. And so you could just be like, what is the weather? She will just display the weather. So it's a way to still use Siri, even if you can't talk out loud. You can also now ask Siri features about your iPhone. So, hey Siri, how do I customize my app icons? She can pull up like the iPhone user guide, talk to me about what to do. Hey Siri, how do I turn on my flashlight? So she can tell us all about it. She's funny. Hi Siri. Hello. How can I help? How much money is in my bank account? My Venmo account. I'll need to access your Venmo data to use the app. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Let's see if she can tell me. Here is your Venmo account. Zero dollars. Okay. We knew that, but I was just seeing if she could tell me that. So besides Siri absolutely glowing on the screen and being her iconic self, I don't know, maybe she can still tell us jokes. Tell me a joke. Where do they make average things? The satisfactory. Tell me another. Why do cows have hooves instead of feet? Because they lack toes. <laughs> okay, that one's actually funny. I think Siri like has some new jokes because I've not heard those ones before, but also I have not asked Siri to tell me a joke in a while. The next feature I'm most excited about is the photo cleanup. So let's look at that. I want to show you. I was trying it out on this picture of my sister in the softball field. Okay, here she is on base. I didn't try it on this specific picture yet, but look at how this works. So you just hit edit, like the normal edit button, and then you go over to cleanup you can tap brush or circle whatever you want to remove and you can like zoom in i'm just gonna try to remove this entire flagpole and just see so i just like drew a thing around it and now you can see it like thinking and then look literally gone it doesn't have any like weird lines in the trees or anything like it just looks good like it just removed it and now like this girl in the background is like glowing so i think it wants to remove her oh yeah and i tap and look at that it removed her and it kept the words in the background like she literally just disappeared look undo redo she's perfectly not there not that i would ever like edit a photo like this and be like uh, there were no fielders there's nobody in the field i've used a lot of like just third party apps and like none of them are that good so i've been like waiting for this feature the other thing i was going to show it to you on was in the tulip fields for example there were people in the background and i was wanting to clean that up and make it look like i was by myself in a tulip field like look that person is gone I'm gonna draw a circle around all three of these people and see if it can... Okay, so sometimes, like, the things look a little weird, like, just made that mountain kind of look funny. So I'm gonna, like, 
do these two people just like for the purposes of like demonstrating this feature. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good cleanup tool in my opinion, just to like clean up the background in whatever you're looking at. Here's some people in the background. Let's just try and clean them up, get them off the path. I don't know. <gasps> Look, they're already glowing, which kind of tells me that it wants to remove them. Okay, I just tapped all those people. Look at that. Okay, it's not perfect. Like over here, it's like a little bit blurry, as you can see. That ain't bad. If you just look at that, like that is not bad. Next, I want to show you about the rewriting summaries because this was kind of funny. I was trying this last night and I was texting one of my friends. I like clicked rewrite and it rewrote my whole message. I don't know. It was weird. I'm going to type up a message that I want to say to my sister and then I'm going to show you the writing feature. So I'm just going to say, hey, Isa. I just typed up a very like random message telling my sister about her day, asking her how softball practice was. You can select gives you a couple options. You can proofread, auto capitalize for me, added some punctuation. I can revert it back to the original or I can keep it like that. So we'll keep it like that because maybe I need to grow up and turn my auto capitalization back on. I can also say rewrite. She rewrote it. Hey, Isa, how was your day? I had a substitute teaching gig at a special education preschool today. I hope you're doing well. How is softball practice? Change that much of my writing because it's like, what is it gonna change that to? It's so short. You can pull up the writing tool do friendly, professional, concise. Let's tap professional and see like how this changes. It changed it and put, hello Isa, comma. I hope you are doing well. I had the opportunity to substitute teach in a special education preschool today. I am curious to know how your softball practice went. That is very interesting. I can also have it like retry. Okay, hello Isa. I hope you are doing well. I wanted to share my experience from today. Substituted taught. Okay, that does not make sense. In a special education preschool, I hope you are enjoying softball practice. I'm going to try friendly. Hey, Isa, <laughs> with an exclamation point. How was your day? I had a fun time sub substitute taught in a special education preschool today. Okay, the grammar isn't great. I'm gonna say this message is too long. Let's go concise. Hey, Isa, how was your day? I subbed. <laughs> it shorted substitute to subbed. I love that. Subbed in a special education preschool today. Hope you're well. <laughs> That's funny. How was softball practice? So it definitely consolidated a little bit and used fewer words. It's just funny to see how it changed. Like, the message. I'm kind of wondering with like longer messages what exactly it would look like, but that was just like a quick my own personal message. I really like the professional one. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to her. I'm gonna see what she says because that is funny and that does not sound like me. The other thing that we can do is notification summaries. Not a ton of people have texted me right now, but look at this little, this is like some political propaganda. But in my message preview, it says FBI rated Washington Washington Dangerous. Vote for Pete Serrano for Attorney General. That is a little summary that it gave me. When I open this message up, it's like a big long message talking about violent crimes, blah blah blah. But then that little summary just gave me like just let me know like a little summary of what the whole message was. So I think like if people send me longer messages, I will be able to get a summary. You can choose to have your notifications center summarized. Some of these summaries weren't very accurate though. Like my friend texted me like a picture, like she said something about an email. The summary was just kind of funny. Like it didn't really make sense. It just said attachment, one image, somebody was fired. Like, I don't know. The summaries aren't perfect for like the messages and stuff. Stuff, but I think it will get better with time. So they're not always like super reliable or super helpful right now. The next thing is email summaries. So let's go to my mail and I want to show you guys some of these. Click on an email, teaching tips, and then you just scroll up and hit summarize and then it will give you a little summary. Okay, so it mentions a podcast, it mentions a video. Now I'm scrolling through the email. I see a couple of videos. I think that the summary was probably accurate. Probably didn't tell me everything I needed to know. The summaries are good. I feel like a lot of my emails are just spam. I'm gonna check the summary for like when my pastor sends out an email. Okay. It's got some important dates up here. The grand opening of North Shore thrift stores on October 5th at 9.30 a.m. Volunteers are needed to ensure the success. Volunteer trainings are on September 27th and 28th. Honestly, as I'm scrolling through, that looks like the important information of this email. Unlike some of the unhelpful message previews, that was actually, that was helpful. 
<laughs> my sister just responded. She said, why are you texting like that? I'm testing iOS 18.1. You can have Apple intelligence rewrite your text messages and make them sound more professional. Uh, that's pretty funny. It gives you kind of new replies that are powered by Apple intelligence. So haha, yeah, you, so you can report it if those suggestions are like not helpful, but if they are helpful, go off queen. The only other thing that I haven't done is testing the ability to create a photo memories movie. I have to add memories back to my customizations. Look at this, create a memory. Jeffrey in Seattle, hiking with Jeffrey North Bend in the fall. Let's see what hiking with Jeffrey creates. It's going through my library. I love how it's like saying different things. Okay, hiking high places over the years. Oh. Okay, me near my house. My hike in LA. Um, maybe not my favorite, but golden retriever. Hopefully it can get pictures of my dog. Golden retriever love over the years. Oh my goodness. There he is. <laughs> oh, there he is peeing. Oh, it threw in a picture of my other dog. That was good. iOS 18.1 is not perfect. Nowhere near perfect. We do not need to be scared of AI because look at the mistakes that were in this video. That is my opinion of it. It is cool. It is super fun to play around with the AI. I do like it. I do like the features. I'm excited for the gen emoji features where you can create your own emojis. That is not yet here. For now, we have photo cleanup, email summaries, rewriting tools, memories, and we have Siri who looks beautiful on the screen. That's what we got for now. I hope that you enjoyed checking out the features with me. Hopefully you can get these features on your phone. If you have iOS 18.1 available to you, iPhone 15 or 16. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye.